Welcome to the Dashboard Effect Podcast. I'm Brick Thompson. And I'm Landon Oaks. Hey, Landon. Good to see you. We wanted to talk about a topic today, which is a little bit technical, but we'll try to explain it in a way that's uh, not, not too complicated. But uh, basically, it's a concept of schema on read versus schema on write. That already sounds complicated. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we can define it. Let's define that. So what, what is schema on write? What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. So schema on write is the the whole idea of storing your data in a format that you want it to be in, uh, mainly for reporting. For reporting. So it's already got the relationships, the transforms, anything that needs to happen. Exactly. The data yep. is sitting <clears throat> in place, sort of sort of the I mean the old data warehouse model where you yeah. have a SQL server, yep. you, you've got the relationships, the tables, everything's already set up. Yeah, yeah. With databases, you know, you you define this is my table, these are the columns I need, these are the constraints, so it's it's there, you know, it's it's defined. Okay. And so then what is schema on read? Yeah, so schema on read is the whole idea of taking your data, um, giving it, uh, let's say, a select statement as an easy example on top of that. And your select statement is what's actually going to transform your data and serve it out in, in the way that you want it. So okay. you're not actually saving it anywhere. You're just saving how to get the data into that format uh, whenever you need it, kind of on yeah. demand. Okay, so you uh, the, the easy example is you have a data lake. It's got raw data in, in there. It just sits there. You've got uh, a semantic model defined that gets activated when you're running some BI reports or mm -hmm. doing a query, something like that. That That is sort of the translation layer into the data lake. So the, the schema is being defined as you're reading it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So um, that's sort of the modern way that we're doing a lot of mm -hmm. stuff these yep. days. Um, there are still use cases where you want schema on write so yep. that the data is sitting there with the schema already defined. What, what typically would lead to that? Yeah, definitely. So I will say, you know, we haven't seen this too often uh, with the size of clients we typically work with, but there is one very recent, not not too recent, but there's a there's a prominent use case that, that comes to mind where this particular firm had, uh, you know, tens of billions of rows uh, that they were dealing with. They also had six to seven different sources. So all of these sources served up data differently. They had different rules, different logic that needed to happen to get the insights that they were hoping to get out of the data. Okay. Um, so when we're talking that much data and, you know, that complex of transforms, it, it was just crazy trying to use that whole schema on read methodology it, it spun and spun for okay you know. so yeah so you were asking the system basically to create conform dimensions and all the stuff you need on read and exactly. it just took a lot of compute i'm sure you could scale the compute so it would perform well but then that gets expensive yep so you're just better off doing it on right sort of the old style kimball style you know uh, data warehouse okay that makes sense um, so when we're doing um, schema on read, uh, typically for our clients, you said you know our size clients. Just just so listeners can know, typically a client of ours is sort of in the fifty million dollar revenue range to maybe a billion or two billion in revenue. So very mid sized company, not a huge enterprise company. Um, so when we're setting up a schema on read, we're typically doing that with serverless SQL. Mm -hmm. So users still feel like it's you know sort of the old model, like they're just dealing with tables with rows and relationships and so on. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they can go through, select the tables they want, select the columns they want. Um, and in most cases, they, it's it's about the same speed as if we had a physical table that they were using. So Yeah, those, these tools have gotten so good. It's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for you then, the decision about whether to do schema on write, having the data sitting there with the schema already defined, not going through a semantic layer. Mm -hmm. um, I guess there is, there's an uh, implicit semantic layer there. But yeah. Um, you decide whether to do that based on how much compute it's going to take to get to that schema. So if you have billions of rows, lots of different data sources, and you're, basically it comes down to you're going to have to do lots of transforms on the way in, you might as well go ahead and store that on the way in so you're not doing it every time a report is accessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, I like to tell my team even simplify it more, you know, and 
don't don't worry about the compute worry about the time right it's it's easier everybody can attach to it it's it can be hard to know how much compute you're using in these serverless environments um but you know if if we have a report that's taken five hours to refresh it's probably yeah, a red flag work, right? right yeah yeah so yeah you know ideally we'd want it to be in 20 minutes less um so that's usually kind of our the red flag itself. Yeah, yeah okay the, uh-huh. the, but the report itself is going to be much more performant than that oh yeah this is just getting the data into the report yeah, once yeah. it's stored in the report it's it's going to be snappy yeah very few seconds okay all right uh that's an interesting topic i mean we've been seeing this change over the last decade mm-hmm. you know going from where you know all all data stores well for reporting basically were data warehouses kimball style data warehouses or um, and in style data warehouses too. Now data lake is the main main form and really is data lake house. So you've got the data lake and then you've got these schema on read semantic mm-hmm. layers ready to go. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Right. It's right. uh it's actually been been cool to see that. I uh I will say I was expecting to have to do that whole schema on write a lot more when we initially went with this design. Um, Wh- which design the what the lake house. Lake house so okay. when we when we pivoted from data warehouses to lake houses, yeah. and I was pleasantly surprised. I still am at, at what we're able to do without that. You know, without doing it on right. Yeah, exactly. And it's just faster, more efficient for our team, faster for our clients because we're able to add columns, tweak logic, just way more flexible. Yeah, so fast. Yeah, yeah. So. You don't have to rewrite a bunch of ETLs and exactly. then rewrite reports to deal with that. And, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's what I wanted to cover on this. Thanks. Great. Thank you. All right.